Hey guys, I want to discuss a new product that I've just now made available, and that is my new 18-4, it's 18 gauge, 4 lead, you can see the 4 conductors, they are full copper, um, double shielded cable. Now, a lot of guys may not even know double shielded cable exists. Um, double shielded cable actually uses a braided shield, and then right over the braided shield, or inside the braided shield, I should say, is an aluminum mylar typical shielding, it's like a foil. This cable is virtually bulletproof to EMI, virtually all sorts of EMI, because again, you've got the heavy braided shielding, and then you also have that foil shielding. Um, if you're in a very noisy environment, and the main reason I'm carrying this now is because a lot of guys now are retrofitting larger machines in a much, much more noisy environment. If you already have CNC equipment running, this cable will be your best friend. Um, a lot of times you can only buy this cable in large quantities. I'm trying to offer it by the foot or smaller quantities, I should say. I mean, I can offer it to you by the foot, but typically I'll do 20 foot increments. It's just easier that way. And uh, if you're dealing in an environment or with a system, typically plasma systems with lots of noise, um, or you're trying to rectify a noise issue, this cable is pretty much bulletproof. Um, and when I say that, this has got a 300 volt, you can see it right there, the casing is PVC. It's super, super flexible. 300 volt rated casing, super flexible. It's designed for communication. So again, it's a robotics cable designed for communication. Uh, again, some of the best I could find. I mean, honestly, at the price point, I wanted to keep it available to everyone. I didn't want to offer something that was inferior in quality or lacked the flexibility that we require with our systems. If you guys are trying to build a system that's virtually bulletproof from EMI and you're in a noisy environment, this cable will definitely, definitely eliminate virtually all your EMI issues, whatever's connected to the end of it, pending, of course, you terminate the shielding properly and ground it properly. And that brings me up to my next point. This cable does not have a drain lead to it, like typical 18-4 shielded. What you'll have to do, of course, is take your shielding, twine it together, and attach a lead by soldering one, and then you can use a circle clip on the other end and naturally ground that out, and that'll, that'll disperse the EMI and, and, of course, give that shielding um, the availability to ground out whatever type of EMI it's picking up, which is really what we're going for. So keep in mind, if you're, if you're dealing with any type of noise issues, you already use regular shielding cables, and I've had guys do that where they're still getting an oddball, you know, oddball noise. This is, without a doubt, I, I mean, it's bulletproof when it comes to EMI. This is, without a doubt, the, probably some of the strongest type of cable to use, especially guys that are using accessories. Anything that you're attaching to a plasma systems controller, um, relays, anything you're doing communication with, this cable will save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle with any type of EMI triggering. If this is done right, once again, it should eliminate virtually all of your EMI troubles. So keep that in mind. Accessories attached, anything with communication signals, and you want to virtually guarantee yourself bulletproof EMI protection, this is why I, I wanted to release this. Because I do know right now that full-scale machines, if you're dealing with knee mills and whatnot, you're dealing with much higher current, much higher power. Plasma systems deal with massive amounts of power. I just did a video on that. This cable is beneficial for anything with signals. So just keep that in mind. And again, I hope the video has been um, helpful as far as making you understand exactly what the product is. And if you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. Thank you.